Good news first, the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled al Assad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now, word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out selection. His name's Soap. Bravo team. The intel on this op comes from our informant in Russia. The package is aboard a medium freighter, Estonian registration number 52775. There is a small crew and a security detail on board. Rules of engagement, sir. Crew expendable. Captain Price, Al-Assad just executed President Al-Falani on national television. The Americans have plans for Al-Assad, and it's too late to do anything for Al-Falani. But in less than three hours, codename Nikolai will be executed in Russia. Nikolai, sir? Nikolai is our informant in the ultra-nationalist camp. He supplied the intel on the cargo ship operation. Nikolai's in hell right now. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of our friends. Let's move. have a possible fix on all Assad in a building at the west end of this town. We're gonna secure the perimeter and grab all Assad. Hurrah! Lock and load. After heavy fighting today, U.S. Marines began to push into the city where al Assad is making his last stand. Fighting has intensified in the capital city. Anti-aircraft fire and early Roger on location. Repeating. Map grid prime two seven six one niner. Over. Bravo six copies. Over. Bravo six. We have an Abrams dead in the water. Call sign war pig. Lieutenant Vasquez, your unit is shotgun. Over. Copy. Bravo is inbound. Tell war pig to stand by. We're on our way. Out.
heavy fighting continued throughout the night as U.S. Marines continued to push towards the capital city in pursuit of Khaled al-Assad. Sporadic fighting can be heard as the bulk of al-Assad's forces fall back towards the presidential palace. Command, this is Lieutenant Vasquez. War pig is en route. We're not missing this party. Possible fix on all the side of the capital city. First battalion is en route. Intel gathered by SAS indicates that Al Assad may have a Russian warhead. Speed is critical. Nest teams have been deployed to the area. Force recon and wild weasel units have taken out most of the air defenses, but Al Assad's ground forces still pose a serious threat. Looks like we're rolling in with everything we've got. We get Al Assad. We end this war right here, right now. Lock and load, Marines. Something has happened. What appears to be an explosion of epic proportions remains sketchy and unconfirmed at the time. appears to be total. To set off what appears to have been a nuclear explosion in his Maybe own country. Maybe the start of something larger, but no word yet on whether all of us had was among the victims. What may have been a suicide mission. I was just a lieutenant back then, doing some wet work. Chernobyl, Christmas for the bad guys. Even a decade later, a lot of them still used it to get their hands on nuclear material. A lot of them, including one, Imran Zakayev. Of course, we couldn't just let that happen. Cash for spent fuel rods. <laughs> That's one hell of a recipe for destruction. It was the first time our government had authorized an assassination order since the Second World War. I was under the command of Captain Macmillan. ETA on the choppers at least half an hour, Captain Price. No good. We'll be corpses for ten minutes by then. Every ultra-nationalist psycho in Zakayev's pocket is about to show up on our doorstep, coming to claim all that's hard. Or what's left of them. Right. We'll set charges along Phase Line Alpha on the Southern Hill. And more along Phase Line Bravo. We'll delay them all the way back to the top and hold our ground at the extraction point in the fields around the farm. Any questions? Let's do this. Got that bastard. Still, he's not the one responsible for killing your marines. Sorry, mate. Imran's a curve, huh? Man's a ghost. Intel says he's gone underground. 
Well, I got a plan to find him. I'm listening. Daddy's boy. Sakaev's son, commander of the ultra-nationalist forces in the field. Rotten apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The loyalist Kamarov has got a location on the kid. Ah, uh, and the little punk will know how to find Zakaev. The sins of our fathers. <laughs> Ain't it a bitch? Our so-called leaders prostituted us to the West. Destroyed our culture, our economies, our honor. Our blood has been spilled on our soil. My blood. On their hands. They are the invaders. All US and British forces will leave Russia immediately. Or suffer the consequences. It's quite simple. Either we retake the launch facility or we won't recognize the world tomorrow. Green light to Halo. Charlie team, go. Second drop approaching. Bravo team, stay tight. Go! southwest of your position, less than half a click away. That's where you'll need to upload the abort codes to destroy the missiles in flight. Guys, go with the exit in the security station. So, Griggs and I will head for launch control. Roger. Come on, what's the bad news? Uh, the bad news is we're still trying to get those abort codes. Over. The hell with it. We'll give it our best shot. Out. Exfil point has been compromised. Proceed to secondary extraction south of bridge. Enemy presence? Substantial. It's just too hot, man. <laughs> but room temperature? Please, a beer should be ice cold. A lager, maybe. Or a glass of water like you drink. But a pint of stout. <laughs> I'm gonna have to school y'all both when we get back stateside. Yeah, well, either way, we're stopping in London first. And I'm buying. Well, at least the world didn't then. Hit it. We're going deep, and we're going hard. Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> 